Hey guys, this is uh, Parker here, and I'm just going to show you how to set up another monitor for your iMac. So yes, I finally uh, got around to getting another monitor. Actually, it's just a spare one that we had. Um, I kind of we don't use the old Dell anymore, so I kind of switched around the monitors, and I ended up with a spare monitor. So now we're using all the monitors all the time, and I was like, hey, I'm going to set it up. So basically, what you're going to need to do is you have to have your iMac, of course. You have to have a spare monitor and you have to go out and buy this little adapter uh, at the Apple Store. This particular one is a uh, mini DVI to DVI port. You can also get a mini DVI to VGA, which is the uh, standard port, or you could get a mini DVI to like a video output, so you can put it, uh, do it to a TV. So basically, this monitor, the Dell monitor, I don't like Dell very much, but this is a really good monitor. Um, it's kind of hypocritical, or I don't know what the word is, but Anyway, um, so you can see that this monitor has um, this port. And so I obviously want the Apple port, the white one. Uh, it's high resolution. So I chose to buy the DVI, which is this is. Ah, uh, and so. Um, Let's go ahead and set it up. You're obviously going to want to plug it in. Make sure your computer is, uh, ah, um, there we go. I have my own password in case you haven't heard, so no one else can log in. <laughs> and so uh, you're going to want to plug it in. You can see that it's uh, working. And then I have this uh, DVI to DVI connector. Okay, so I'm going to plug it in to the um, this port right here. Then we, uh, oh, Pokemon mouse pad, by the way. Um, got these two, and uh, we're going to want to plug each in. So, uh, all right, so the other cool thing about this monitor is that obviously you uh, it's here. You can raise it. Let's see if you can see this. Raise it and lower it can also swivel it and uh, one thing that you oh well obviously you can see that it can be angled um, but one thing that most monitors as far as I know don't do is this I can actually rotate it 90 degrees so that's pretty spanking awesome no 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 202 so then I take this and I just plug it right on in. In fact, I could and plug it right on in like so. Ta-da! And that's it. And then I don't know if I get a little... Oh, my screensaver froze, so that means it might be... Uh, oh, it's blue! The blue screen of death! Um, oh, no, it's not. That's Andy, by the way. And uh, that should do it, but it doesn't because I have to press this button right here, and uh, there it is. And so it's a mirror image, but you see it thinks that here. Let's put this together. It thinks that um, this window right here. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open up System Preferences. By the way, this is iMovie HD. Uh, my movie Jizu Maritwa which is uh we which, which which we finished I'm I I imported it into the old iMovie so I could add chapter markers for the DVD and um the first time I did I did it in this weird file format and so it's really low quality and, and I was kind of worried but then I did it again and it's a much higher resolution so that's why there's two of the same windows uh YouTube video you can't really tell the difference but anyway so go right here to displays So there you have it. It's all uh, calibrated and everything. Um, 
see it works and it's it's uh I've got it set up to my uh likings. And another reason why I like this monitor is because it has a lot of USB ports. See the iMac only has five USB ports. Two on the keyboard and three on the actual computer. And um for standard users, uh that'll be a perfect amount, no problem. But I am definitely not a standard user. Um I've got a I've see the keyboard, the mouse, uh printer, hard drive, um USB flash drive, USB or uh S D card reader, iPods, etc. And so um with this I still have um some things in the back. And but I also um with an extra cord I have these two side USB ports and I have two other USB ports right here. And um so it's awesome. So I have like four extra USB ports. That's perfect for me. No more switch, swipping it out or swapping it out, um, switching and swapping, etc. It's uh, it's cool.